Coming up on Around Kern County, we're showcasing an amazing culinary arts program, providing food industry job training to Kern County residents. Stay tuned for a tasty look at how Cafe 1600 is making a big difference. And Kern County is being recognized for its historic restoration of the Adobe House in Hart Park. We're sharing how our county is leading the state in this field when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off this week's show with a delicious story making a difference. Kern County's Employers Training Resource partners with the Bakersfield Adult School and Kern High School District to bring a fantastic culinary arts training program to our community. Not to mention, people can actually eat what the students make. This is Cafe 1600. We are at the Bakersfield Adult School Culinary Arts Program. This is Cafe 1600. Cafe 1600 is a program whereby students come in to learn the facets of the industry. They're learning the front of the house as well as the back of the house. You're able to learn different aspects of either being in a restaurant, doing the buffet, being able to serve and cook. And I like that you're able to learn all rounds of it instead of just one part. You're even able to learn like inventory and like different vendors and different things like that. This program is one semester, which equates to about 18 to 19 weeks. And students can enroll through the Bakersfield Adult School or through ETR, which is Employers Training Resource. This program is serving those who are either discerning the industry or trying to complete a diploma through the adult school, or um, just need a job, actually. So we can train students that come from all different walks of life. We have students that are working to complete their high school diploma, as well as students who have a master's. So um, I was kind of like looking and trying to like reestablish myself, and I always thought like, well, I wanted to go through a culinary program, and then like the stars lined up and I found this program. So it was, uh, there was a silver lining. So that's how I ended up here. There are so many of us here, different personalities, different backgrounds, and we're all going in different directions. But the fact that a program like this exists is really, really great. I, I mean, for me, like a career change in my thirties, you know, like never, never would have imagined that. So the fact that it was available to me, the fact that it's available to my, my peers, it's really great. What I love about this program is that people often come in with a lack of confidence. They don't really know where they're going or what they want to do, um, or maybe don't know how to break into the, the uh, any industry. And so this gives them fundamental tools. They can learn um, everything that they need to step into the food industry, of course, but also they can take what they learn here into any industry. So it's just important work training experience from top to bottom. The opportunity to gain the experience, gain different knowledge on things that you really don't know or different ways to do things and cook certain things and how to adjust to different personalities and still make it effective for what it is that you guys are all called for. So we're learning front of the house and back of the house operations. So front of the house, you know, um, serving, uh, busing, uh, to-go stations, uh, expo, you know, running tickets and all that for to-go orders. Um, and then when we're in the back, we're cooking. So we do a lot. Um, we prep, we, we cook, we bake. We, there's a lot that we do back there. The skills are varied. So it's like a, it's like a really fun stress. It's very high, like high paced, fast paced environment. So it's a very fun, exciting experience. And so every day is something new, which I really, really love. Students leave here with a culinary certificate that they've completed the program, that they've been through this extensive training. And they also leave with um, a sense of confidence and the knowledge and skills that they can take into the marketplace. They can enroll uh, through the Bakersfield Adult School and that's probably a great place to start. They can also um, inquire about the program through ETR, which is Employers Training Resource. The Kern County Library is promoting reading this month with a tasty challenge. Anna Marie Odo has the story. 
The library is partnering with In-N-Out Burger this spring for their latest program, Cover to Cover Reading Club Challenge. This fun initiative celebrates children's reading accomplishments between the ages of four and 12 by awarding these young readers with an achievement card that gets them a free In-N-Out Burger for every five books they read or have read to them. Each child may earn up to three achievement cards for the duration of the program, which is happening now and ends in April. To participate, just visit your local library branch or download the Beanstack app to sign up today. For more information, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. Kern County Aging and Adult Services is promoting March for Meals on Wheels this month to ensure no senior in our community gets left behind. Here's a look at how this important program works. Join Meals on Wheels in the annual March for Meals to celebrate the seniors in our communities and the ways we can all support them. All across the country, communities will join together to take a stand for the millions of seniors struggling with hunger and isolation. Meals on Wheels is a proven collaboration of local community organizations, businesses, all levels of government, and more than two million dedicated volunteers. Together, we deliver the nutritious meals, friendly visits, and safety checks that are often all it takes for our seniors to remain in their own homes where they want to be. And by doing so, we save billions of dollars in nursing facilities, hospitals, and healthcare costs. So join the march. Celebrate March for Meals in your own way. Donate what you can. Hold a fundraising event so others can give. Speak out to elected officials. Or join the dedicated army of volunteers who are committed to making sure that our senior neighbors are not forgotten. March with us. If you'd like to get involved or sign up a loved one, please visit our website, kerncounty.com, and search Meals on Wheels. We're ending today by celebrating the hard work and teamwork that went into restoring the historic Hart Park Adobe House. This structure was built in the 1930s as a residence for Hart Park's caretaker. Now, more than 80 years later, our community can learn from and enjoy this piece of local history as part of the park's nature center. And while this restoration means so much to many members of our community, it's also caught the eye of our state. This week, Kern County received a 2023 Preservation Design Award from the California Preservation Foundation for this amazing rehabilitation project. The history of this building is important because this was a Works Project Administration funded project. It put local people to work, it used local materials, and it trained people to work as well. It was designed by a local architect, Philip Parsons. He was the county architect. He worked um, on this project as well as the fort in Taft and some other significant buildings in Kern County. It is going to be used and is being used for a nature center to highlight the, uh, the park, to highlight the river, uh, to highlight the historical nature of, of, uh, of the area uh, as well. So it's a significant achievement um, that a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. Kern County General Services partnered with District 3 and Kern County Planning and Natural Resources to secure special community block grant funding to preserve this piece of history right in our own backyard. To check it out for yourself, all you have to do is head out to Hart Park and enjoy. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.